So when you look back on 2016, I think, I mean, I'm, I hope I'm not being immodest, of how the economy changed over the last year, and in my view, how it has been mismanaged, and how we have deteriorated over the last year. Initially, they said it is for black money, for counterfeiting, and for funding terrorists. To get rid of all these things, they said this is the idea. Then they added corruption. After about two, three weeks, they realized that it won't make any difference to corruption or to black money. In fact, it made a lot of bankers corrupt. The honest banker became dishonest. And uh, bundles and bundles of 2,000 rupee notes were taken out of the bank to, the, to Gujarat, Kandla, Port Trust, engineers of the military engineering service, to the chief secretary of Tamil Nadu, to two chief engineers in Karnataka. Bundles of 2,000 rupee notes spent. That is corruption and black money. Finance Minister Breezily says yesterday, there was not a single day where there was a cash shortage. <laughs> I can't believe my ears. Cashless society. Now they realize that a cashless society doesn't exist anywhere in the world. Austria, or, or Germany and Austria, 80% of transactions are in cash. Canada, 56%. Australia, 60%. The United States, 46%. So that narrative change. Now they are saying this is to empower the poor. 40 crore people were virtually driven to the wall, driven to penury and misery in those six or seven weeks. I had cash shortage. I had cash in the bank, but I can't draw, draw cash. I think people are not going to forget